Well, thank you, Kitty, for asking about low back pain. And you're not the only one because four out of five Americans suffer with low back pain at some time in their life. So after you've talked to your doctor and gotten permission to be able to do exercise, you'll find that exercise frequently can help you immediately and then give you some long-term benefits. But what kind of exercise? Because certainly not all exercise is helpful. So I'm gonna to start today by sharing with you a few things that you can do at home to get some immediate relief. Now meet Jeremy. Jeremy occasionally spends too long at his desk and occasionally spends too much time behind the steering wheel of his car. And when those sorts of things happen, his low back can start to hurt, just like yours or mine. So today I'm going to ask Jeremy, have your, has your back ever hurt? Yes. Yes. Okay, so, so Jeremy, let's start with your left leg here and you gently bring that knee up towards your chest and use your hands to assist. Always placing your hands behind the knee so that you're not pulling on the connective tissue of the knee itself. And then relax it back out. And let's do this knee. Very good. Gently pulling down and then relax it back out. Use the muscles of this leg to bring it, this leg back up to the chest again. Pull it in nice and tight, a little tighter this time. And relax it back out. And let's bring the other leg up and pull it in. Now notice that we're, and relax out. Let's repeat that, Jeremy, at your pace, bring that up, and the alternate one, so that we're using those muscles, but yet we're aiding in the stretch. And one final time, very good. Now, on a regular basis, you would want to do that on a, a basis of eight to 10 times every day in order to keep the alignment between both hips and keep them fully functional. Good job, are you feeling better, Jeremy? Yes, I am. Okay. The next exercise that Jeremy would be encouraged to do is bending your knees and bringing your feet flat on the bed here and then position your feet nice and wide. Actually spread them out and bring the knees closer toward each other. Now that posture itself gives some immediate relief to the low back. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and in this posture, you can start to stretch a little bit, but surprisingly, we don't want to just stretch the low back we want to activate the muscles in the front. So Jeremy, if you will do what's called a pelvic tilt, okay. and that's by flattening the small of his back against the bed, tightening those pelvic muscles so that the pelvis itself tilts forward, and then relax. And again, a gentle tilt, tightening those pelvic muscles, and relax. And one last time, tightening and tilting that pelvis, and relax. That in itself can bring some immediate relief to a painful back just by activating the abdomen. Now on a regular basis you would want to do that eight to ten times every day to strengthen those muscles and to keep them into balance. So the next two exercises that we're going to ask Jeremy to do for acute back pain is and for long-term benefits is to begin on his stomach. And this next move is called Sphinx. And it has several variations that assist in getting the low back out of pain. Now please know that initially it might be uncomfortable to be on your stomach, but work yourself into that posture. If it doesn't bother you, great, you're further ahead on the game. But if it does, still work yourself into this posture. And then slowly bring your hands underneath you so that your elbows place the weight on the bed and raise the upper part of the body into a sphinx position. So remember that Egyptian sphinx of your weight? Very good. And once you're in that posture, then rotate the head to the left and to the right so that you're slowly getting some relaxation into the upper part of the body here. It aids in relaxing that part. And then come to stillness with your head, bend both knees, and then alternate one ankle in front of the other in a gentle movement. Now we've seen children do this just naturally. It's a great strengthener and balancer for the low back. Bring your feet to stillness and both feet down. Slowly bring your upper part of your body down. Relax back into it and you're done. Now doing that in the event of acute back pain, do it once. That's enough. 
but on a daily basis, try to work up to where you're comfortable doing this four or five times each day. It'll strengthen the back and keep that back feeling nice and beneficial. <laughs> so the next exercise Jeremy's going to be asked to do is called bridging. Now bridging is very helpful because it's a toning of the entire core, but it's important that we go about it in right steps. Notice there's not a pillow under his head at this particular point in time. The foundation that he's on is nice and firm, so he doesn't have a lot of give to if he's on a mattress or whatever. And his arms are by his side. So the first thing he'd do is bring his knees up, bending the knees, feet flat on the floor. Widening the feet just a little bit and bringing the knees toward each other. Then the weight of his body goes into his heel, not onto the toe, but into the heel itself. And now we want to draw a straight line of the spine all the way from his neck all the way up. And he would accomplish that by bringing his hips straight up in a nice straight line. Now this is using core muscles, tightening the glutes, securing the hips under him, and then gently roll down one vertebrae at a time. Very good. Nice and slow. Very good. And relax a moment. Pause. Let the body settle. Let the body assimilate the benefits of the movement. And then again, repeat, bridging up, lifting the hips up toward the ceiling, holding that, and then slowly rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Very good. Pause, allow the body to settle. And then on this last time, bridging the hips up again, and this time adding a little stretch by bringing the knees just slightly closer together. An inch or two makes a huge amount of difference. Relax and then slowly roll all the way down. And to finish this posture, bringing both knees to his chest. So go ahead and bring both knees to your chest. Hands are behind the knees, they're on the thighs, and a gentle stretch. Very nice. A rock side to side. And that concludes that exercise when you're in acute pain. But on a daily basis, doing that bridge eight to ten times strengthens the overall body and allows the hips to stabilize and strengthen. This next exercise is very beneficial to everyone throughout their life, no matter what the condition of their back. But in this particular case, it's extremely beneficial for low back pain and maybe one of the ones that gives immediate relief. It's called child's pose. You notice that Jeremy is on all fours. And in all fours, he can gently sway left or right, giving himself just a little stretch in the lower part of the body, bringing some gentle relief. And then he comes to complete stillness and drops his hips toward his heels, pushing back, straightening the back, and extending the arms out in front. This opens up the shoulders, and improves the posture and at the same time it improves circulation. And notice that he just doesn't drop all the way down. Now maybe you're flexible enough that you'll be able to, but it doesn't matter how far down you go. It just matters a nice straight back and a nice gentle stretch. And when he's ready, he just rolls right out of it. I recommend that you hold this posture about 30 seconds and do it on a daily basis. It'll help your back. Thank you, Kitty, for asking about low back pain. Hope this helps.